Hey everyone, we're at the SAP Technology event in Las Vegas and I'm here with... James Sinclair from Enterprise Jungle. Enterprise Jungle, who are Enterprise Jungle, James? Enterprise Jungle is one of the SAP startups. Um, we're here, what we do is we provide social collaboration services on top of the internal uh, social networks or enterprise social networks such as Jam uh, and some of the other SAP offerings. Okay, and you mentioned you're part of the startup program. What's the startup program number one and why are you involved in it? So when we were building our platform, we knew that we wanted to sit uh, or position ourselves with a company that could provide uh, access and resources to the problem we were trying to tackle. So our problem is how do we get a workforce to collaborate better? How do we get a large distributed workforce to collaborate better and use these internal platforms? And the reality is the first step is most of these companies are using SAP. So I, I think when you talk about the Startup Focus program and why we joined, it starts with a, a very clear business case of what we were looking for. And so actually my first shout out is I contacted a guy named Greg Chase, one of the mentors at SAP, and I said, here's one of the problems we're having. We need high speed uh, data access. We need a lot more uh, analysis and the ability to do live business or real time business intelligence. And here are some of the struggles. Do you have any opinions of where we, may, where we go? And I hadn't heard of the Startup Focus at that point. Uh, Greg sent an email off to Mark in the program and I had an opportunity to really look at A, is HANA a good solution for us uh, in terms of the technology stack and in terms of the offering? And the second was, is SAP as a business case a good solution for us? And so they have this program that basically onboards you into uh, the process very quickly. So you can identify whether or not it works very quickly. So the reason I actually like the program so much is it was accelerated. Is this right for me? Gets answered within the first seven to 10 days. And they take these baby steps to get you there. First thing is understanding the program, understanding the value of the program. Then it's okay, why don't we try something on HANA and see if it works and see the application of it. And so now, you know, a couple of months in, um, we are now fully on HANA. So, it, you know, it starts of user database, then it says, okay, try some of the predictive algorithms or some of the other technology. Uh, uh, in-memory technologies, and then it moves to, great, let's use our logic, the XS engine and so forth. And so for us, we got this incredible technology benefit of uh, real-time analytics, very fast processing of an incredible amount of data, and then we have this business value of our customers, our SAP customers. And so when I met, started meeting the team and I started talking to this team at Startup Focus, what I realized is they were moving at the speed of me. Nice. And that's a really important thing that for a startup, you need, yep. you know, you send an email and you sit waiting for a response, not literally in terms of, you know, where are they, but I, I need to know very quickly whether something's gonna work or not because I have resources and allocation and the budgets are different. Um, and so I started meeting and speaking to some of the SAP people. I was assigned a program manager personally and she was absolutely fantastic for me. And we just started developing and understanding the relationship and the more and more I, uh, looked at the program and got involved with the problem, the more times I encountered hurdles or problems or issues or complications was, uh, was really where I realized the value of this program. When I had a problem or a hurdle, be it a business case, a use case or a technology case, I was always being routed to someone that was genuinely and vested in, to be interested in solving my problem for me. And that's what you actually have to nail with this program is a genuine and vested interest to help the startups and to mentor the startups and for their success. And that is a very unenterprisey model. Um, you know, and I can give you a great use case here. I've been here now for two days and uh, I've been trying to work some, uh, some integrations with success factors and some of the other platforms. And I was speaking to, uh, to one of the guys at the program and within minutes, he's introducing me to the uh, vice president of the entire Success Factors platform. 10 minutes later, I've got an email in my inbox telling me who to speak to. And 25 minutes later, I'm being told that this program doesn't exist for startups, but they're more than willing to look into it. So you're talking about um, A, genuine speed, and B, just people that actually want to be involved and want to see success. And I can't ask for anything more. And so now I'm a tech ed. Um, and I'm being introduced to my potential pipeline of customers, my market's accelerated, uh, my sales are accelerated, so being in the Startup Focus program is a competitive advantage for me. It, it really is, and I think I cannot overstate how amazing it's been. Not because it's so smooth and perfect and amazing and everyone's perfect and they have a process and they have a formal you know, route you have to go, it's because they don't because the Startup Focus program is also a new program, they're using us as much uh, as we're using them. So it's a very fair equilibrium uh, between the startup and the startup program. Um, 
So that's really my novel of why it's so fantastic or why I chose it. But I think it's not just the technology. You have to understand that it's uh, taking you to market and understanding what your product is and who the best person to sell it to is. It's not like you open the program and you sign the document and they deliver a $10 million contract. No, they're not there to do your sales. They're there to support you and you doing your sales and provide that infrastructure for you. Um, and they've more than compensated uh, me in terms of the amount of intelligence I've got out of this program and advice and help and pricing um, from the leaders in enterprise solutions. I mean, isn't that the no-brainer when someone says, what are you? And we say, well, we're an enterprise service. Well, surely you should be with the enterprise company, the being the, the key word. Fantastic. James, it's been great. Thanks very much. Thank you so much.